Hello everybody, welcome to HD Piano, my name is Dion and in today's lesson we're learning how to play Steal My Sunshine by Len. This is part one where we'll learn how to play the intro of the song. The intro sounds like this. Pretty funky. Okay, now before we get stuck into learning our intro, I'm going to let you know that we're going to break this song up into a couple of different parts, so make sure you join me at hdpiano.com for all the lessons for this song. And I want to know in the comments, being that this song is called Steal My Sunshine, what's the longest you've ever gone without seeing the sun? Now, I went on a trip to Iceland once, but I was there in the summertime, so the sun was in the sky all the time. But if you were in there in winter time, maybe you didn't see the sun for a really long time. Let us know in the comments the longest you've ever been without seeing the sunshine. Okay, let's get stuck straight into learning this song. We've got this four bar intro we're going to do, and luckily for you, it repeats the same bar four times. Makes it a little bit easier for us. Our first thing we're going to look at is our right hand. Now our right hand is going to be using two main chord shapes. Our first shape is a B major chord. We're going to use our thumb on B, our second finger on D sharp, and our fourth finger on F sharp. It's a very nice B major in root position. The next chord we play is an E major chord, and we're going to play this in second inversion, which means we can leave our thumb where it is. Our thumb stays on B, our third finger goes to E, and our fifth finger up to G sharp. And we're going to alternate between those two chords quite a bit. So again, our first chord was B major, with fingers 1, 2, and 4. And our next chord was E major, with fingers 1, 3, and 5 on B, E, and G sharp. So you can practice going back and forth between those two chords if you like, because we're going to be doing that a lot. Our left hand, even though we're playing two different chords with our right hand, only has one job in this section, which is to play B. I'm not going to play it all the time. I'll sh we'll, we'll have a look to see what rhythm that left hand is going to play, but just letting you know, the left hand is quite simple, it doesn't have to move at all for this intro. So when we have both of those hands together, we get a nice full B major sound. And when we play the E chord, our left hand can have a little break. The rhythm of this song is really quite cool. It's a, a slightly swung 16th note, uh, groovy sort of rhythm. We're about 95 beats per minute so it's kind of got this cool strutty feel to it, which is nice. It's really bouncy. When we count this song, we're going to be counting in 16th notes. What that means is if you're used to counting one, two, three, four, we have to break those beats into smaller chunks. The way we count that is one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Once more the way we count sixteenths. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. See how we've broken each beat down into four little beats inside each one. So we have 16 counts per bar. Our rhythm is quite syncopated, which means we're playing lots of chords on E counts and A counts, which are our sixteenth note syncopated beats. The rhythm for our right hand starts on beat one, which is nice and easy. And we change to our E chord on our one E and A uh count. One E and A. Uh. Again, one E and A. Uh. As we keep counting, we're going to play our B chord on count two and and three. One E and a, two E and a, three. Once more. 
One E and a, two E and a, three. As we continue on further, we again change to our E chord on our three A count, and then we change back to B on four E. So coming from count three, three E and a, four E and a. Once more from count three, three E and a, four E and a. So that whole bar, we have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And one more time, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So this is the basic rhythm pattern. Well, not so basic if you, if you think about it, but the rhythm pattern that we'll be repeating for every bar of this four bar intro. Our left hand is playing on count one. Then it has a little break and it plays again on two a uh, and three. One e and a, uh, two e and a, uh, three e and a, uh, four e and a. Uh. Now this fortunately lines up with our right hand playing on those same counts. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So this is a really cool syncopated rhythm. We're doing it nice and slowly at the moment. I'm gonna let you practice that over and over again and slowly, slowly start to speed it up. But it's pretty tricky to play at full speed if you haven't practiced it slowly first. What we're gonna to get to try to do is get to this speed. One, two, three, four. Well, there we go. A nice short intro section in this song. Now you can practice that over and over and over again and then join me at HD Piano for the next section. We're gonna look at the main piano line that covers the verse and the chorus. Uh, make sure you leave your comment on the longest you've ever gone without seeing the sun. Find us at all social media at HD Piano and send us your requests at the website requests.hdpiano.com. You can vote for your favorite songs. Until next time, you're at the home of the hybrid piano lesson and my name is Dion. I'll see you again soon.